Well, the market had another chance to show its grit, and once again, buyers materialized to buy the dip, which is good news. Uh, but the major indices did close lower, reflecting the fact that outside noise is more than just a speed bump for this rally. That noise, of course, is geopolitical risk and uncertainty over trade negotiations. Now, ironically, I think the worst case scenario is that the status quo remains. And, and the, listen, it's the same status quo that the markets and Washington, D.C. learned to live with a long time ago. Right now, the unknown, though, continues to distract from great economic data. I'm loving the action in these truckers. As you know, this is one of my big investment themes. It centers around these intermodal containers. I also love the smart and wealthier consumer theme, but that does mean that we'll continue to see distinct winners and losers in retail. And that brings me to the earnings conference call, which has become the most important job, one of the most important jobs, certainly, for management of publicly traded companies. Going on tirades like Elon Musk means instant selling your stock, but also think about this, just one wrong word, like the CFO of Caterpillar learned the hard way, by the way, can erase three months of amazing business execution. This morning conference call saved L Brands from a terrible earnings release and a sunk Best Buy after a great earnings release. By the way, after the close, it's a mixed bag for retailers and tech names, but I bet many of these initial moves will reverse before the open tomorrow. My panel now to discuss David Nelson, Bell Point Asset Management Chief Strategist, Kevin Kelly, Benchmark Investments Managing Partner, and Melissa Armo, the stock's swoosh. Melissa. Let me start with you. What are you saying? I mean, I know that you're big on momentum carrying us through. You think we're going to be in this trading range for a while. What do you make, though, the last two sessions, the resolve, climbing off of these 200-point down sessions to, to sort of climb higher? I, I heard what you said last night on your show, and I agree with you about that 100%. I'm surprised how we rallied yesterday, and we did fall this morning on North Korea news, and then we did. We closed negative, but we rallied in the close. So I will give you that. I mean, we might break out of this range. I mean, you're a big believer. You're convincing me we might do it. I'm getting to you. You're getting to me. <laughs> Well, I mean, you got to, if you watch this as closely as we do, you have to be somewhat impressed, Kevin, that, that the market does turn around. By the same token, though, you have to be equally frustrated that fundamentals seem to play less of a role in the market day to day. Yeah, but like you said earlier in retail, there's winners and losers, and there's winners and losers across all the boards. And so if I'm looking at retail, I'm going to go into the retail real estate. It's up over 5% since Macy's reported earnings because across the board in retail, they said foot traffic is up, whether you look at Kohl's or you look at Macy's, look at Lulu. Lemon. It's already touching a 52-week high, and they still haven't gotten their management straight, but consumers are spending money. So you want to get into the retail real estate that's trading at a 25% discount to the net asset value. And a, and a nice dividend there also. Oh, yeah. You're getting a 5% dividend, right. and so it's really sort of bottomed out here after the last couple of years. The death by e-commerce hasn't played out. 95% of all retail sales happen to companies that have online and offline presence. The offline presence is the gateway to online, uh, the online consumer. What's the main thing standing out to you in these markets right now? What I think is happening, I think we're myopically, myopically uh, focused on the S&P 500. And I think we have to drill down just like you did in the opening of this segment. We're not, the tide isn't going to lift all boats. You hit on intermodal, I'm, I'm going to tag along on that. Norfolk Southern just raised prices on intermodal 15% just four days ago. That's pretty astonishing. Some, some rails are actually eliminating contracts for Southern California because they can't meet the demand. That speaks to what's happening inside this economy right now. I find it very encouraging the fact that the S&P 500 isn't breaking out to new highs isn't bothering me at all. What about, though, the idea that the, the, the news and noise continues, though, to dominate the markets so much, at least on a day-to-day -day basis? Is it discouraging at some point? Does, could it turn investors off at some point? I think people just have to accept it. This is the world that we live in. You were bringing up about Elon Musk with Tesla. Even something like that, we live in a 24-hour, seven-day week. Is he a week. nut in your mind, though? Is he, is he destroying this company? He's, he's really out there and I think that's kind of exciting and it's kind of scary and it's totally him so good for him to, to do what he wants you know yeah unfortunately he's got his hands in too many cookie jars and that's the yeah I mean from SpaceX to the boring company to Tesla I mean it, it's hard for Jack Dorsey enough to run Square as well as Twitter so I think you've got to get into these management companies that know what they're doing one of them, you, get, you talked about intermodal. Look at Home Depot. Home Depot is completely executed, and you've seen actually basically uh, Lowe's hasn't been able to keep up. But when I'm looking at industrial warehousing, I mean, that's a 
great play here in the United States uh, after your intermodal trade. All right, real quick, David, give me a wrap, but I got to ask you about these sure. conference calls. Right, do they have too much weight now? I mean, it, it, <laughs> they're always going to have a lot of weight, and don't buy or sell anything until you finish the conference call because you could be really, really left holding the bag. I tell you, this, some days I go home, I'm so happy, and I come in in the morning <laughs> and I'm just crying. The same yeah. stock that was up 15% is down. What yeah. the hell could they have said? Yep. All right, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thanks. Meanwhile,